Right, welcome ladies and gentlemen. So today, episode 10, we are in Warsaw and we're going up to Lithuania. So I've stayed in the A321 and the reason I've elected to do so is one, because I love the Wizard Airline uh, livery, I think it just looks amazing. Two, because I want to go through the start-up procedure. So ordinarily, as you know, I always have the uh, plane ready to go and depart. So this video is going to be slightly longer so that I can go through the start-up procedure on an A321. They say it's start-up procedure is exactly the same for an A320 and an A319. They're all very similar. That's why it's very easy for the pilots as they're type rated on one to be very easily type rated on the other two at the same time. So let's get in the plane and let's get on with it. So we've got ex external power which is already on. So first things first, let's line up the navigations. This will take the longest thing, so we should get those on as quickly as possible. Okay, fuel pumps are already on, so that's all good, and we're all good on that one. So let's go down and start programming the FMC. Uh, let's see how long we've got in the line time of seven minutes, guys. So we've got a little bit of time on this one. Um, it is what well, it is. It takes a little bit of time to align up these uh, these planes. Um, let's go ahead and open the TOLUS page and go to the ground services and just make sure these doors are indeed closed because when I was outside they looked very open to me I'm just going to go ahead and make sure these are closed up um, as we're not pushing uh, we're not using the uh, ground one because it has issues with this plane so that's done, uh, extension, external power is on, chocks are on, so we're going to remove those chocks, as we've uh, had that issue before, where I'll go to move and the chocks are stuck in the way. Uh, block takeoff fuel for this one is 1341, which is a bit strange because way more than the last one. Hmm. Yeah, the flight, flight time's lower on this one, isn't it? Quickly refill the plane and we'll load these settings into the plane as well. Uh, we can't do this section yet because we haven't sorted out the route as yet. So we'll come back to that. Uh, let's go ahead and look at doing the flight route. So in at ref, okay, iris in it. So it's aligning on it's currently aligning, so there's not much we can do on that one at the moment. Uh, for those that don't know, you can actually pre-record your flights, put them in the here, and it will then do all the work for you. Um, I didn't go down that path, but that is an option open to you guys. So stick it in your flight plans folder on x -Flame. So E. So we're going from EPWA to EYVA. It's done, and we're going to be with 901. Bang that in there, a cost index of 69. And a cruising altitude, shut up laughing. A 350. That'll go into there nicely. Okay, that's good. Runway 33. So we'll go over to the flight plan and we will sort our departure. So we'll depart from runway 33 via the Mansi 5 kilo departure. So we'll go ahead and insert that. That puts that in nicely. My god, seriously, shut up. Oh my lord, hold on. So that's for our departure in. So from Banso, we will be doing airways. Okay, so we're going via airways. 
So Z182 go into there and Aslux go into there. Oh, that's so annoying when they don't do the whole thing as things and it's just some. Then we're doing a direct to uni peg. Go in there, and then we have to accept it, and then accept it. And from Unipeg, it's another direct. So this time, direct to Weber. Go ahead and accept that. Insert. Then another direct from Weber. And this time, we're going to direct to IRKAL. Go ahead and insert that, that's good. And then our destination, we'll be using runway 19 for the moment. Uh, as long as that's an ILS, yes it is. So ILS 19 Yankee, via uh, Icra to Icra to Bravo arrival. That's fine, there are no buyers, so we'll go ahead and insert that. So that's good. Now we'll just do the usual, just go ahead, just make sure there's no uglies in there, no inconsistencies on our way across. No, there are not, that's all good. So that's fine, we've got the Perth page to do next, which we can't do at this juncture because we're still waiting for the ILS, uh, uh, the plane to align. So let me open the TOLUS page now and see. It will now give us this, which is good. So we're going to go uh, flaps two and active plane, and we'll use toga thrust, which will now give us our new num our new numbers. So we'll be using one four nine and one four nine, and then finally one five three. One five three. Cool. So that's all set, and that looks good. So that's done. Sure there's things I miss off there guys so that's how I fly it and I'm happy out with that so that's all done and dusted three minutes to align this is why I do these uh, pre pre checks if you like before uh, I start the videos because obviously it takes a bit longer this way but because it was a shorter flight it seemed like a, a, a good shout to uh, do it now so the meta currently reading is 1017 so let's bring that over 1017 that's good we're now starting it's starting to align now that's good uh, how are you getting on Adam okay good stuff nice keep an eye on for that Okay, so that's all done. We're just waiting for it to align. We can't do anything at the moment. Uh, the altitude will be 350, so we can go ahead and set that. And we can hit that, but as I say, we're, we're just waiting. I can't hit it until we've got an alignment. So let's go ahead and there's a fault with the terrain, but don't worry about that. Okay, let's go ahead and set. Uh, the These are on, aren't they? Yeah, because that would be cool. At the APU. But let's get the APU fired up. Come on, APU. There we go. So we'll go outside to watch the APU fire up. It's up until now, and it's been very quiet at the moment. Um, and then obviously, I need to quickly reset whilst that's starting up, guys. Here it goes. listen into the APU while I quickly reset the top of the screen. is firing up nicely there uh, I've just updated the route plan at the top of the page so 
So now we've got the APU fired up. That's looking good. Still seeing some side doors open, I think. Let's go and check these doors again. Uh, that's showing all closed on mine. So, not sure where it's getting these figures from. Uh, let's go put the APU on. Yep, so the APU is now available. It's just waiting now for the, uh, the GPS to align. Should be any second now because we're at zero. And then we can arrange for pushback. Um, so let me go ahead and open Simbrief and download the route to the Navigraph. Open the charts. Here we go. There we go. We've got GPS primary now. Cool. So we are taking off from runway 33 and we are currently located in terminal 3 so it will be a push back to the right and then straight along uh, alpha so straight along alpha all the way down to runway 33 so that's good okay so we now arrange for the pushback tug that's all done that's all done and that is all now set very nice indeed cool so that's looking okay, no issues there, that can come on. Let's get the seatbelt signs on. That's all good, all set, APU is on. We can now disconnect from the external power. We no longer need that as the APU. <coughs> ah, a bit kicked in there. So that's all good let's get the strobes on as we're about to start the engines beacons can come on wing light come on and nav can light can come on okay that's all good let's arrange for a better pushback oh my god sorry about that guys i keep forgetting to turn that ruddy volume down there we go sorry about that guys i've turned the volume down now Okay, that's all done, so the push back tug is coming out to move us back. As he starts to move us back, we will then start engine number two and then engine number one. Let's make sure we've got engines, eh? Don't forget guys, if you're enjoying the series, hit the uh, like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel, that would be really great. Seven days a week you get either a live stream or you get one of these videos, so every day there's new content. Without doubt, this is the most active YouTube channel for flight simulators on YouTube and Twitch seven days a week. Okay, just wait for him. Push back tug to lift up the plane. Where are you from? Oh, there you are. Oh, you got the you got. Uh, did you get lot airways? Yeah. On your seven three seven, it looks good. Adam. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, as normal, guys. As normal, Adam is with us. Good afternoon, Adam. As it is now afternoon. Uh, let's go ahead and start engine number two. There we go. We'll go outside to watch engine number two fire up. New and improved sounds on this plane now, guys. I put the sound mod in, so it sounds a lot better.
Okay, engine number two turbine starting to turn now. Okay, that looks good. Let's go and start engine number one. It's just about reaching right numbers. Come on, number, come on now. Up to 21. That's it, that's fine. Let's go ahead and start engine number one. There's a helicopter flying around over here. Okay, engine number two coming online, uh, one, sorry, engine number one has fired up good. So looking good there, guys. Sorry, what did you say, Adam? Yep, okay, point. No worries. Okay. Right, guys, we are ready to taxi, so let's get our taxi lights on. Bane is all good to uh, start it. We don't now long, no longer need the APU, so we can switch all that off. Fine, that's done. So let's get taxi in. As usual, I'll put on cameras that are relevant at the time. Not that one. There you go, guys. Just so you can see what I'm doing with the controls. We need flaps two for the takeoff on this one. We are taxiing out, guys. It's a bit wet today. Let's see if I can make them know anything with these this plane is, you know. There's no, there's wipers or there's no wipers. There's no in, in between. Let's go through this push back, uh, go through this tug there. Nice. Okay. 
Check the cabin. Right. Every four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function. Okay, that's all good. Okay, just need to test the config. Config is all good, so we are all good before takeoff. We've just got to taxi out to the runway now, guys. And Adam is following us behind. Did I say good morning? Oh, we did say good afternoon, didn't we, Adam? As with before, guys, I will turn the constraints on and let the plane dictate how we climb out, what speeds, etc., etc. Beauty of X Wing is you have VNAV. Imagine having VNAV. Let's see if we can see our colleague outside. Yeah, he's just pushing back. Slow down a touch, let him catch up. You gotta love this livery, it looks really cool, these Swiss Airs. Become the, the largest European carrier now. Overtaken Ryanair. I not imagine that's gone down too well with uh, Mr. O'Leary. Got on my phone on charge, guys. Sorry about this. There we go. Before it dies. So we just fear. Continue down here, and then we're going to veer slightly left slightly to uh, make our way round although theoretically I'm just wondering actually we can actually make it onto the runway here so we'll do that we don't need the full length of the runway hold at uh, Hotel 2 for our colleague to catch up. Yep, no worries. We've got you on Doppler radar. I know what I'll do is I'll jump to Adam's plane and uh, we'll watch as he taxis down to meet us. If you ho hold out, Adam, to let me take off and just get the plane in climb and everything okay yeah yeah no what I was gonna say then I can jump over to your plane and watch you take off that's uh, one of the tricks that we've got with this thing so let's go and look at Adam's plane Adam is uh, oh wow there's a lot of lots here all right here we go there we go, we can watch Adam taxiing out and he's 737 as he comes out to meet us. Go that way. And you can see my plane in the distance. Oh, isn't that cool, guys? It's a nice little add on this. I like it. I like it a lot, don't you, Adam? It's going to give a... Give a yeah, it's going to give a different perspective for the... People watching, not only will they get to see me take off, they'll get to see you take off. Obviously, it is there is a limitation. I can't actually be in his plane, although that is something that I want us to do, Adam. A joint plane, a joint flight together in one plane. That is the time for us to have the 787 out to play or the A350 
and uh, we'll do a, a co joint uh, pilot and co-pilot. So yeah, we'll be definitely looking at that. Uh, we just got to get a bit of software that allows the two sims to connect to each other. But uh, that is definitely something we want to be doing. That way we'll have shared responsibility. Adam will be talking to the controllers, etc. And we'll do a couple of these flights. So one one is me as the captain and one is Adam as the captain. So shared, res you know, we'll do a couple of these flights and we'll have some fun with that. This is cool. I'm literally behind your plane watching you taxi out to meet me. I forgot that there was this facility. So after I, I get into the uh, stable climb, guys, I will then jump back to Adam's plane to watch Adam take off. So that will be kind of cool. What plane have what plane you seen? You seen Wiz Air? No, that's cool, that's cool. And I'm seeing yours spot on as well. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what I'm seeing, but no, I'm just seeing normal lot delivery. Uh, lot, lot li delivery, but yeah, it's all good. All right, guys, so yeah. Adam's now caught up with us, so that's all good. So, hopefully that won't blow up the game, or the sim, but we'll definitely give that a go. Okay, let's get our taxi lights on, which we'll forget to turn off later. And, um, yeah, let's get our taxi lights off. Everything looks good and clean. Uh, flaps are set, and everything's ready. Cabin is ready, so let's push out onto the runway. And give it a little bit of frosty boost. Come on, baby. There we go. It wants me to reach out the cabin. Couldn't be me. Now it's been a little while since we did it. Whatevs. And we'll check the takeoff config again. Okay, as we taxi out to the runway. that exam mm, good luck we need more controllers so let me just bring up the yoke cam guys so you guys can see and we'll push the throttles for uh, the yoke forward and toga time in comes the toga we're looking for a v-speed of 149 so so me cutting short on the runway was giving us enough space. So just hold out, Adam, and then once I've gone around two bends that are quite close on takeoff, I'll hop back over to your plane to watch you do your takeoff. Right, V1, rotate eight, and up she goes. Very nicely up done. Let's get the landing gear up. Let's get into autopilot and watch as we do the takeoff. Wheels are coming up. Okay, we'll go into thrust climb. Now the plane will micromanage itself. Let's get these wipers off because, like, seriously, why? get those off and we'll climb up 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 and away and first stage of flaps can come in and we'll get the second stage of flaps in just so you can watch them come in retracting they come in quite quick on on the air buses so even when I try and jump over uh, it's always not easy sometimes to hop over so you guys can watch. So we're still getting quite a bit of rain here, so I'm just going to put the wipers back on for a moment. Just on the left-hand side. Okay, so we're currently climbing out nicely. 
uh, but to give us a bit of breathing space because it's a very short turn on our, uh, our uh, climb out. I'll do a couple of turns and then we'll watch Adam do it. Oh my lord. I'm so sorry guys. Totally. I need to set my desktop audio so it comes on by default. Okay. Right, so we're just going to make another two turns which are on top of each other and then we will go and check Adam. Uh, let's take off. This is also creating us a good gap as well so it uh, gives us a bit of breathing space. So. We're good, we're in the climb, everything's looking fine, so now I will hop back and hope this doesn't break the sim. And we will go and watch Adam. Right, there you go Adam, ready when you are my friend, take off. Okay. So we'll watch Adam now as he takes off. I won't get the sounds unfortunately from Adam, that's just one of those things. So if I go into the plugins and just to go to Xpilot and go to the settings, uh, yeah, aircraft engine sounds. I don't think. Uh, no. Yeah, I can't turn on the engine sounds. One right but we can hear it. And we can hear Adam, and we'll watch his take off. takes to us guys, there he goes guys, and that's cool, look, we get to watch the wheels retract, and Adam's up and away as well, so, yeah, hand flying it at the moment, giving it a little bit of cheeky hand flying, we can tell, <laughs> nose is pitching up and down, up and down, up and down, yeah. Yeah, my scenery, I turned it down guys because we were having a bit of a frame rate issue, which is why the scenery does not look as good as it should do. It's a bit of a no-win situation. One vat sim on, turn turn your scenery down. One vat sim off. Then you have to turn it down sometimes. Depending on the plane. Now if I was in my other planes, I wouldn't have any issues. All right, we're going to jump back to our plane as Adam starts to climb through what looks like a lot of rain. Are you indeed getting rain, Adam? I am, yeah. I've got my wipers on full blast. Nice. So, it's cool. We're going to literally watch Adam as he goes through the motions there. But we better get back to our plane and make sure we still have one. <laughs> so that was cool, wasn't it, guys? It's an extra little add-on. Not only now do you get to see me take off, you can get to see Adam take off. And obviously when he comes into land later on we'll make use of that as a, an option to watch him coming into land so that worked really well and so we're on our way i'm currently at 10,000 feet and we're climbing out nicely there and uh we're on our way what was the f uh, flight time on this one adam uh i'll check yeah because it was asking for more fuel than the last one that much I did see. Um, Only 50 oh. minutes. 50 minutes? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, yeah, 50 minutes, yeah. I've, I've got an hour and 15, but yeah. Simply Voice does go a little bit... Mm, a little bit more than you need. Reality it is. And I think that might include taxiing out and all that nonsense as well. Put that screen on there just so that we got something as opposed to nothingness. Cool. Uh, let me clear that GPS primary comment. So uh, that's fine. Uh, FPS is still rapidly getting hard here at 29 FPS. Um, so the FPS is not great. Explain it's just really hard on the FPS. Climbing out slowly but surely. Uh, we're just climbing up to 340. This plane doesn't hang about. Uh, 
Land Advocate. Guys, as I said before, if you're new to my channel, definitely uh, hit the subscribe button. That would be great. Uh, it would also be nice to uh, see the, the channel growing in numbers. Turn off these uh, webcams now. There we go. Cool. Yeah, we're just speeding up now, and then we'll just, we've got a little bit of climb going on at the same time, but. No doubt we'll though, though. We'll get climbing a lot faster once we get up to our cruising speed of 340. Just a 50 minute flight. That's why, I, as I said at the beginning, I elected to go through the startup procedure on this flight just because I knew the video would be a little bit shorter than normal. Good. Climbing, climbing, climbing. So now the climb rate has doubled. Does look good. Loud. Sure. I hope you enjoyed the series guys. We're having fun with it, me and Adam. Right, I'm going to go make a sandwich while we're cruising. Wait.
I'm back. I'm back, I said. Nice try. Three. Yeah, the eyeball struggles climbing. I don't know if that's true to life or not. So people know what I'm talking. About. More efficient way of doing it, like feel. Yeah, alive. exactly. It's that. It's exactly that. It's more of an efficient way of climbing out to cruising altitude. Uh, we're just talking, guys, as we were literally starting our descent already. Uh, so we're coming in on runway 19. Did I say you, Zulu or Yankee? Yankee, I think you said. Yeah, it was Yankee, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Yankee. It's on my it's on my screen now. <coughs> and as with last time, guys, you saw I kind of controlled the descent because the Airbus is, this Airbus is not particularly great at managing its descent. On certain routes, it's fine, no problem at all. And then it's caught me out before now, turning off at Gatwick at 5,000 feet, which would be all right. But Gatwick's one of those rare airports that the, the ILS is at 2,000 feet, so it's extremely low. So when you're suddenly 3,000 feet too high, you're trying to descend as quickly as possible whilst controlling the speed. Mm. Yeah, there's a steep descent on this as well. Yeah, I would imagine there is, because the amount of altitude we've got to lose. I mean, I'm already down to 280. 28,000 already. Uh, then at some point... Uh, no, I think I might do it tonight. I'm going to do my southwest flight that I've got to do in order to keep... Yeah. Uh, my application into Southwest Virtual. How's the gym going? Like, is that when you do to go and do your thing again? Um, I go every Tuesday and every Thursday. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you went last night then? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. But it's been worth it for you, because like you say... Yeah, yeah. You've managed to stop doing the insulin now, haven't you? Yep. Yeah, so definitely worth, definitely worth it. I'm just looking at this wrong way. Do you know what? We should have come in the other way. It's going to be a hard turn onto the wrong way because we've got no vets. As, oh my lord! Uh, let me quickly look at this wrong way, guys, because this this is not going to work. Uh, airport. Uh, we should have come in on zero one. So oh, okay. Consider making an adjustment as quickly as you can. Uh, flight plan. 
I mean, I only went on what I was being told, so... Uh, let's go with this one. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that for the moment. I think my adjustment's made. What one did you pick for the approach? Um, Urka 2 Alpha. Urka. Urka. Urka Mike 2 Alpha. Uh, no, just Urka 2 Alpha. Urka 2 Alpha. Let's have a look how that works. Okay, accept that. Yeah, that's still a hard turn. Still a, it's still a hard turn onto the runway. Um, yeah, that's still a hard left turn onto the runway. Okay. Yeah, have a look at look yourself. From what I'm seeing, that's still a hard left turn onto the runway. Because um, of the angle we're coming in at, the runway is off to our left. So as we approach, um, we come round and then literally do a hard left to go onto the runway. Mm. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. Especially if you're me. Because what I'll do is I'll just take over the, the heading and just pull the plane out a little bit so that when it does left it's got more time to line up. Just ate an egg mayonnaise sandwich and it's giving me the hiccups. Oh. Let's have a look at this. Uh, we need to be light level 9000 at EI302. Oh, yeah, definitely got the hiccups. I'm going to use the speed brakes to help slow the plane down. little eye that the uh, capture device oh sugar wrong one he's actually showing the bottom of my screen guys let me just fix that I never noticed that uh, let me just fix that there we go yeah all that time it was showing off the yeah so uh, what we'll do is we'll get to about here and then I'll turn right and head 110 on the heading and then we'll turn left onto the runway so it'll just take the, the, the sting out of the corner Bit of manual vectoring in. Uh, just watch your speed if you're behind me because I'm slowing back down. Adam? Yeah, I, I can't do me too much about that, I'm afraid, because I have to descend.
you'll um, be way ahead of me anyway. Surprised about that. Right, we got to 280, let's bring it down to 250 now, that's where we need to be. Should be at 9,000 feet. So I'm just gonna keep manual descent on to ILS, we chose the ILS so that might need reprogramming. Well, no, it says it's done it. Uh, 3,000 feet is the interception. I'm just going to check the ILS has actually reprogrammed itself because I've seen it do it before where it doesn't reprogram it. 110 at 5, course is 014. Get rid of that, it's 014. Uh, Put that in there. So that's no, we don't want that. We want to still glide past. So I'm not touching that button again. Okay. Yes, thank you. Speed brake is still out. I understand. Okay, so now we're going to turn to a heading of one one zero. Uh, no, one one. Zero, yeah, that's what I said. So we're going to go ahead and turn to that heading. Just to take the sting out of the corner, guys. Okay, that's fine. Uh, go to standard. Standard, standard. Uh, let's have a look at Villainous. Let's get the meta. Come on, Meta. There we go. So the Meta is currently 10.13, so that's actually standard. Standard, standard. Okay, that's looking good. Come down a range. So we're going to go out at this heading here, and then we'll just, as we're approaching it, we'll turn left onto the runway heading. This will just take the sting out of it because it's very sharp left, but this will just give us more time to react. Uh, down to 240 knots and we'll keep an eye on the descent we're doing all right with the descent but I don't need to add in any more initial descent that's fine looking good so far down to 230 good looking good I would turn on the uh, landing lights but you know what turn them on the last one. you should go with dentist mate why is that then so you got 230 <laughs> <laughs> yeah I can only apologize for my colleague That's all I can say. <laughs> can only apologise for his sense of humour. Right. So we're just going to increase the descent now. So we'll go to 15, uh, 1500. We want to be at 2700, so... Go to 2000 now. 2700 to intercept the ILS. There we go. That's fine. QNH is all parked in nicely. We'll go flaps one, but just flaps one. Because otherwise, we'll be going to be speeding very quickly down to 220. Wonder the alarm bells aren't going off. To be honest. Cool, everything's looking fine.
Okay, we're going to swing around. Swing around to the runway heading. Which is 014. There we go. We'll turn on the ILS now. That's fine. We're above the ILS, so we're all good. So we will hit the capture and let the ILS lock on, which it's now doing. We have got Cat 3 lock. As usual, we'll go Cat 3 dual. Autopilots 1 and 2 can come on board. Let's get the plane slowed down now to 190. And uh, we'll put the landing gear out just to help the plane slow down. So I'll go into this screen. Landing gear can come out. I'll do another quick one there. It's, it's still getting the landing gear out. Really struggling with this height, uh, with this speed. I'm gonna put the speed brakes back on, even though I've got them on, just to help bring it down. 190, down to 180. So we're nine mile final. The ILS is locking on. Just need to get the plane to slow down. All right, we have runway in sight. Go flaps two. There we go, looking good. How are you doing back there, my friend? Totally fine. Cool stuff. Alright, speed down to 160 and flaps three. That's fine, we'll bring back the speed brake now and arm the speed brake. We'll check the cabin and we'll set the brakes to low just to give us additional help with the braking. We're now descending with the glide path, which is good. Way in sight. Have a look. Yep, someone just taking off by the looks of it or coming in. Nope, someone just coming, taking off. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Someone's taking <laughs> off straight at us. Oof. It's just not going to be fun. Speed down to 1-4. E let's see, hope he sees us and veers away from us. <laughs> He's lining up to take off. The way I see it, I'm in the air coming in. He's on. He's on the ground. He should give way to us. He's not in the air yet. Oh, I talk. No, he's, he's taken off. And he's climbing. Luckily, he's going to climb right over the top of us. Oof. <laughs> That's interesting. <coughs> he's turned. He's turning left away from us. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh well, at least he got out of the way for us. Okay, we're looking good. Flaps full. So, let's quickly bring up the cameras and then we'll come into land. Uh, no cam can come on, webcam can come on. Okay. Disconnect the autopilots. Here we go, one and two plane is mine. Cancel that, thank you. 500, thousand, to go. thousand to go, check. Nice and slow and steady. 400, 400 check. Get a bit, a bit of screenage. Having a moment there. 200 check. Over the top of the trees. 100 check. Throttles off. 
It was far left foot. There we go. Oh, don't. Wow. This plane really does not like giving good FPS. Okay. Brakes are pretty weak as well. Yeah, it's glitching like an M M M F O. No idea why. I'm still getting, according to this, I'm still getting 60 frames per second. But I'm not sure why. But Stream Elements is having a nightmare. Oh, sorry about that guys, I know it wasn't the uh, best looking landing. Hopefully when we do the replay it'll look better. Right, oh, turn off the runway. How are you doing Adam? Yeah, I'm fine. Come in. I can see the runway now. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. I'm trying to I was trying to get myself quickly part out so I could watch you jump come in. Well, you know, you weren't quick enough. <laughs> well, I'm just going to stop here then. Ah. Right, let's go and watch Adam coming in. I'll just leave it on the taxiway. Somewhat legit. Uh, there he is on final. There we go, we can watch Adam now coming in. And then we'll watch my replay, which hopefully will look better than what you saw when I actually came into land. I don't know what happened with Stream Streamlabs just took a, a huge dump, basically. I was looking, I was actually getting 65 frames per second, so uh, it wasn't the sim. Streamlabs playing up now. See the, how low you are across those trees? I know, yeah. Crazy, isn't it? Any lower, and you'd definitely be clipping the trees. And there comes Adam landing. Actually, here, Adam's engines is getting closer to me. So that was Adam landing, guys. All right, let's get over onto a gate, and then we'll look at the replay. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's... Definitely Streamlabs having a moment. I might have to go th through resources on the Streamlabs and see if there's anything that might be Draining the uh, oh, let's go into a gate even and uh, see if there's anything I can do to improve how it's operating. Just Somebody pop. always screams on my landing, so I don't know why. Don't know either, mate. Just nervous flyers, I guess. On every one of your flights, yeah, must be. Right, spark and break on. Turn this off, and we will look at the replay. So let me just disconnect from the mainframe. Disconnect from the uh, matrix. And we will toggle replay mode and we will see how we landed in the end. Okay, let's go outside and see how it looked. Uh, again, love this livery. All right, let's have a look guys on the replay. Amazing how close we got to the trees. Oh, it was a hard landing. Certainly. 
doable, but very hard. On mine? On mine. Centre line as well. Let's not look at that view because that view is terrible. Let's try this one. Yeah, we got a bounce. We did get a bounce, guys. We got a bounciness. We did get a little cheeky bounciness as there as we came in. loud on that one. I'll turn the sound down on the reverses. Okay. Turn the sounds down a bit more on the reverses. And then we got one more, maybe two more views to watch guys. Yeah, double bounce for sure. I'll have a look what the tower saw. Back over the trees. Assuming there is a tower. Can't always guarantee it with the uh, sim. Sometimes I've got them, sometimes I haven't got tower views, and sometimes they're blocked, sometimes they're not. So we're going to have a building right in the way as we come in here. Look at this. Nice. We'll check, uh, oh Jesus, right through the building. Like, whoa, that is a great tower view. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. We'll go to the runway. See what, how the runway perceived it. Right. One last view. As I said, it's, it is one of those where you come right in over the trees. Amazingly close to these trees. Do a bit of crop spraying on the way in. Very bad, Zeus. <laughs> that did actually sound really good, guys. So I'm just going to replay it for you. Because I know I turned my audio down quite a bit. But listen to the sounds now as we come in on this runway. Uh, from the runway view. Did get a heavy bounce, though. Bounces. Definitely worthy of a Ryanair landing that was. <laughs> I had a couple of little little tiny bounces. Well the runway's not level. If you go if you look from the runway view the runway sort of dips uh, comes down and then climbs back up again so it's not a flat runway by anybody's strength of the imagination but anyway uh adam thank you for joining us on episode 11 is it now i think it's episode 11 i can't remember no 11 yeah yeah um thank you for watching guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and me and Adam will be back with episode 12 in two days' time. Um, I hope you're enjoying them, Eddie especially. 
I'm sure you'll find something I've missed or done. But anyway, this was Wiz Air, and we'll be back in a couple of days with another video. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, see you on the next one. Yeah, the texturing on this plane was fucking terrible. Don't know what's wrong with the texturing on this plane.